That guy really always had rods on five and into on eight. Then he played Nexus Champion Sarad and only got zero mana yeah. spells. Hey, free one. Mm, we hope at least. Hey, well, you got a good card, so. Yeah. So uh, you can you just like... pitch. You can get rid of Doom. I mean, it's a slow match, so I probably want to get rid of Corsair, and just keep them middle two. You don't even need to keep Poison too. Just like just finding Myra's is insane. Okay, so you do this one. Uh, I would probably keep middle two. Yeah. You know, I, I can't. Uh, I mean, I don't have the stream open, but I, I see that on delay, so I can't. Oh, really okay, see yeah, yeah. If you're saying these two. Yeah, just the middle two. Just W and uh, reading. This guy's got a big Ooh, fucking nuts. Holy okay. shit. This matchup's this matchup's even better, I think. So I do okay, the, yeah. Well, you the do this, and I do the prep, then I do the coin thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, or I can do the W on the weapon. Hmm. No, it's no, it's fine. Cause you don't play another two or three, so we can deadly nuts turns. So we can go yeah, so South Sea prep, stuff. good yeah. card, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is insane. He's dead. Yeah, he's he's just dead. You need to seriously brick to lose. Okay, you got good cards off of it, so you're fine. Cool. Well, that's smart. Me and Banana tested this, and like, he was kind of shit drawing, but like, none of the games, like, one game was close. With Pyro Warrior? And the road or... just kind of did. No, the road just farms this matchup. But yeah, he was playing Pirate Warrior, yeah. I don't know, man. I feel like I want this deck to be so playable. But okay, yeah, yeah, this is just fucking. Yeah, this is a, this is a roll. Uh, do we want to do the Doomerang thing here? No, I was just a deadly, deadly dread swing. Uh, you don't need to make this trade, right? We can go face for one. If he's pinging, we're happy. So he swing, yeah, yeah. There's no, there's not, there's not a two damage. The two damage break point higher warrior is like a cannon, which he would be holding and would have played, or a curse blade, and then he's dead. So. No, to use a wide then. I think the only way you can actually play Pyro warrior is with the double breaker and just like hope that you not draw, but it's just not good enough, even if you do. It just feels like so yeah, we just go... right now. So what do we do? Make so there's one way trade. we can do is where we can do equip face. We can just do so. We, one way we can do it is we can do we can buck in here. We can do rain to one one and uh and swing into the frogling, or we can swing into I don't know. That's probably worse, right? Yeah, that's worse. Okay, yeah. So you just trade your one one in, do rain it, yeah, equip the buck, gone. and then we're swing face. It's done yeah. for four. Yeah, just. Uh, we win the race at this point. Always. We had the dread, he didn't. We had the dread, and we also have. I don't know. We, our, we have a. Got, like, we have a we have, hand, so. like, one, two, three is not. We have an upgraded. We have an upgraded. Yeah. We have an upgraded death blade on turn three, and he doesn't. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. No, nah, Pirate Warriors are. They're, they're reverse spread two gamers. They're true alpha males. They queue a worse matchup into you. That makes sense. After that, they just like queue fucking two box into you. Just say, yeah. To sense demons into the void all of you. Dude. Okay, so we're good players, so we hard mall. Don't have the weapon. Uh, you, can keep, you can keep buck on play. Okay. Buck on play deals a lot of damage. Does they have to coin to file it? If you have oil. If your other card is oil, I might full keep this, honestly. Just as you, you don't even need the weapon to kill him. Okay, so we play the good card. Yeah. No, the Warlock and Mid Priest matchups, you can just kind of play that Pirate Warrior. It's like when they become like controlled. That's you gotta play like Pyro Warrior. That sounds like fun. Yeah. This hand's really good though. There's not really much benefit. This is actually interesting. This is an interesting turn. I don't know how our curve works though. So we might just really, like any real three wait. drops that are really good to this, right? Then we just like dagger go face. He defiles. We redevelop. Well, it's it's isn't it more damage with it if we play it this turn, dad or next turn, and not the turn after? Because we play it into if we play it on turn three, we're playing it into a coin hellfire turn, right? So we're playing it before that, so it's kind of better and it's more likely to get the two damage him. Okay. So we can just play it, trade patches, go face for two, and then like none of his development. Like the only thing that's good is like doomsayer here, but he usually shouldn't play this if he's doomsayer. I don't know. They they, they sometimes play bad. Sometimes? A lot yeah, of the time. Okay. Yeah, like, I don't... I mean, I guess it did kind of help him, right? So I feel like sapping is not very it's good. Probably just, it's probably just dagger hold. Yes. I would agree with that. And then we're gonna do Naga the turn after, and then we're gonna do the Raiding Party Dread Corsair on 4. So we hold our dagger here. So this is pretty bad so far. 
Yeah, but we still dealt 8 to him, and he's playing a death that doesn't answer, not a Corsair. So we're not, like, totally dead yet. We have card draw. If he's not playing a Void Crawler here, we're in a really good spot. Yeah, we're in a... I think he fucked up. Yeah, okay. We're still in a good spot. Okay. Okay, we drew the dead card. No, we're fine. We're, we're completely okay. fine. So we do the thing, kill the 2-2, two -two. the next turn we do the thing with the thing, and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing with the thing with the thing. He needs, like, a stall into crazy shit here. This Void Caller sometimes does it, but... Even though, no, Void Caller's not even good now. Because right, we just he, sap if it's a good card. He plays Void Caller and pats it, we just sap. If he just plays Void Caller, we just proc Void Caller and sap. Stall is what he needs. Nice skull, cool. One stuff. So it's, it's Dread yes. Party. And probably just equipping a Teen's Bane afterwards. Oh, playing a 3-3 three, three seems better than equipping a King's Bane. Agreed. I don't care if he Hellfires next turn. And uh, Dwink, yeah? Yeah, you swing. Yeah, you swing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doom Guard. Okay, that's not good. That's fine. No, that's beatable. Yes, it's the beatable one. Okay, that's like kind of shitty for us. I think you, you, you sap it, right? Or do you just kill it? I guess you just kill it. Well, I think it's better to kill it because we're kind of fucked if he gets Voidlord. Like, it doesn't really matter, right? You can just, like, mm -hmm. King's deck and. You can kill it with there, the. Right? Yeah, it's an awkward board for him to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like this. Yeah, he's good. And then we can Mire his next turn to a second sap and be okay. I mean, we just sap if he gets Voidlord and doesn't do anything, and we just win, so. Yeah. Like, he'll probably feel he's safe. A, this guy's had. Ish. This guy's had a ridiculous nut. Yeah, it's a pretty nice hand, right? Doomsayer, Mom, Kobold, Hellfire, Skull into two 9 drops. Pretty good. Does he have the cheap bat as well? Is he actually a drop? Not Sounds actually good. a drop. Feels bad, man. Unlucky. Sap Myras. How many cards are left? Scene. Yeah, so you sap my wrist. We want the other card. Okay. Um, I, 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 hold up. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine like this. So think about it. We took my wrist first to try to get two preps in oil. And then we have lethal. That's like really unlikely. Okay, we got one prep in oil. We got the other sap too. No deck can though. It's okay. Oh? He has two void loads in hand. What a fucking god. Yeah, this guy's a good player. No sense demons, just draws him. <laughs> Cube. So the Minari was a mistake. Did he get packed too? Nope, no packs. He doesn't have packed, he's fucked, right? Um. So, this is definitely lethal. Yeah, so we prep the oil, so this attack. We doomerang. Re equip, swing. Sap, face. Yeah, he's good. This is the right play by him, though. Yeah, of course. So he taunts us really This good. is... He's a, he's a lot... Yeah, this is more... Yeah. I think he missed a tap at one point, though. There's a turn he should have tapped, because it didn't affect his life total at all. Okay, and... Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, this is... I mean, this deck is like... Get even shaman, fun. Right, Let's find Tannen. Seems smart. The turn one pirate just gets fucked so often. Yeah, so does the turn four one the Skalaka, it's fun. Well, not when you have a Tannen up with it, you know? Then it's really good. Because then you're killing his things and then he can't lock you and kill your Tannen at the same time. Yeah. And you win. The fucking Rossicon Shaman just like... triggers me so much, I don't know why. It just pisses me off. I let down on any person that uses an alternate hero portrait, so. That's fair. Like, they, to me, they just seem like somebody really wants to look like they're special. I like to use Mecha Jaraxxus. Except for Taranda. Taranda's like, Taranda's like a... In Mecha Jaraxxus is okay. Kinda get that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, playable card. Is there like a, spect is there a spectator bud here, or is that a two mana shaman hero power? That's two mana, yeah. Alright, now we're in it. Okay. Should be a fun game, then. Uh, I can see them played against this guy. Squishy. 
Ah, oh, that sounds great. Yeah, it's actually really good now. I have not played against this guy this week. My win rate on ladder this week is 52%, pretty good. I'm 98 and 91. 98 and 91, what's that? My win rate overall in the past week. Super good. 98? Is that 90, 98 wins, what? 91 losses. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought, okay, yeah, I was really confused. Okay, so we play the weapon and then just go face for six. Yeah, I don't see what this spell part token is doing. It's like one mana three threes. That pull a one mana one I one. Do, yeah. That's good. If he plays Lightning Storm, could care less. No, that's kind of whatever. We just play a five play four it. and then just go face. Yeah, yes. and then the five four daunts him and then he dies. Yep. Welcome to Hearthstone. A lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So, it seems like you're a pretty good player right. so far. Like, we haven't queued in anybody that plays Galactic Crawler, which seems above average when you're playing this deck. I don't know. I'd be like... I, I don't know. The, the, like, the tech cards in this road are always kind of overrated. And people, like, play them at the wrong... People, like, but don't know how to time Galactic Crawler for shit. Like, holy shit. You have two two-drops in your hand, you Galactic Crawler one drop instead of just, like, playing your fucking Merc Spark and holding a Galactic Crawler for, like, a fucking Dread Corsair or something? No, dude. Why would you want to do that? Makes no sense. If, someone play, if someone's playing a zero mana uh, Dread Corsair against you, and you're waiting to the lack of that, you're behind. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's how that works. You're behind, on, you're behind on tempo. You spent two mana to deal with what he played zero mana for. I've had, like, Chamans like, literally, like, pass against me and float two mana instead of playing the lack of color to eat a 1-1 one, one pirate. It's actually I think insane. that's fine. I think like a lot of the time, if you have two two drops that like do similar things, so like Mark's Park versus Galaka, a lot of people just play the Galaka first for no reason. Yeah, but no, he just like didn't use two mana oh, okay, at all. Yeah, he had yeah, just I like I had a one one on board. And he just he just floated two mana and was just like, nah, fuck it, I don't want to do anything here. Okay, so Mali Shaman draws seventy five cards. We go face. He's only got three mana. Do we want to get rid of this spell part totem now? Hmm. Well, no, not now. I don't think it runs Storm. They mm -hmm. run Volcano. They run Healing Rain. They don't, they don't run Storm. I don't think so. I haven't had one play one against no, me. Just play Nelly. No, no. Let's just hit him in the face and he probably dies at some point. Yeah, I like that idea. They have the Frost Shot card, which makes me get really triggered. That's a fun one. I think I lost this matchup like once as Rogue, and the Nelly Shaman just like. I had like a shit draw and he killed me on turn 7. It was a fun day with Hearthstone. Seems pretty accurate for this deck. They just draw this Frog card. And then they play Barnes and get Malagos and just kill you. Mm-hmm. That sums up the game. Yeah. Super fun. Or they just do nothing. And they have to turn 10 and have, like, 15 damage in hand at that point. And they still die. And they just die. Yeah. Like, playing this matchup is actually so unfun. Because you have to get a low to kill them. Because they just hex oh, your fucking shit. Mount Giant. Then you have to suicide to play your Molten. And you just die. Cry every time. So he's got an ancestor's call in hand. Mm-hmm. A lot of fun. Uh how much do we care about this frog? Not a lot. Although I think I'd what if we just sap the frog? We know like sap and uh, swing and raiding party. I think I'd rather use raiding party to refresh my weapon since we draw pirates to play and we can get Buccaneer and we have Doom Rain the bot so we can do like extra buffs that, that yeah, way. Let's do it. Like if you, you shouldn't have three mana to actually be playing the fraud at some point, no, right? No, you should never have it. Uh, let's swing first. Yeah, and you should, you, should always have, you should always have drawn enough cards at this point, too. Like, the card draw doesn't help him at this point. It's just playing efficient things to stay alive. That's good. That's okay. Yeah, we got to be, we got to be good. You wouldn't use... I mean, it's a good play not to use Volcano when you're playing Shaman, because that's an odd cost card. And it doesn't fit an even Shaman. And if you're playing Shaman, that's what you should be playing. I mean, you can play this Shaman deck and link you into Warlock and just win every game. Seems smart. You just have to queue into Warlock. Or you have to play Rogue the exact same and thing. Well, beat Warlock. Do the exact same thing and beat like a bunch of other harder. people too. I mean, yeah, you beat other people too, but that deck shits on Warlock way harder. I mean, like our deck, look at last game. We had a pretty yeah, good but this draw, deck... Fuck the last game. Well, we, we had a, that was a pretty average draw, to be honest. We actually had, I was actually a pretty awkward hand. And that Warlock had the Stone Cold Nuts again. Yeah. Yeah, two two doomsayers follow up to the doomsayer, void caller into a demon, into spellstone, account, though, so AOE. 
When your name is yeah. Control and Liner, you have really bad luck, unfortunately. Okay, so it heals for 20 again. Cool. Devolve, woohoo. He's actually playing that? Whoa, portal, Whoa. holy shit. So he gets his other heal card? Is he dead? This might be lethal. So, goes to six, or two off? Yeah. Oh wait, dude, can you play the cannon too? No, you can't. Okay. Is it right to- no. Hmm. I think you just go buck buck. Do marine. Re-equip. Put him to two. Oh, you, you drew a three mana card though. So you might draw a healing rain, so is it better to go for board then? Might just be better to go for board and just go cannon, buck, buck, kingsbane, because you can't really deal with board and heal on the same turn. Then we might have lethal on that turn. I think that's what I would have done. I don't think I did, like really like the buccaneer player where you go for the doomerang stuff. I think the cannon's just like good here. Yeah, I think that. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, so we just win. Cool, good game. Cool, my 50-50 shots have gotten a lot better since you joined, wow. Wait, what the? Did everything go face? Oh, that's how that like, bloody face was playing, right? I thought he was the only one that played that deck. I'm actually not sure he plays, to be honest. This guy just kind of thing. Is that the same guy? No, that's not the same guy. I don't think he was. He was like squishy with the other guy, right? Does he play Igor or does he play Exodia? Yeah. We can like keep raiding deadly and just draw prep. If he's. I mean, I think Doom Rank's pretty good regardless. If he's Igor, it's really good, right? Doom Rank's pretty slow though. We're not playing it until. Like, what turn are we playing Doom Rain? Yeah, it's like turn fair. five or six. Let's not keep that. Let's keep like. Let's try to find like Cannon. Okay, he's Igor Mage putting me off. Okay, oh, we're good there. Hey, we got prep, okay. we're fine. Yeah, okay. Any full keeps? That's great. Yeah, I'm always, like, looking at my hand and, like, wow, so it's, and then I see prep party, I'm like, oh, never mind, I'm completely fine. So, we coin first? Yeah. Coin. Preparation. It's a dagger this turn. Um. I mean, one always dies anyways, I guess, I don't know. We get patches out if we play first. Well, we can play on the counter spell this turn, right? And then we can go Buccaneer and Dread Corsair. So we can just go like Kingsbane Deadly if we want. Okay, Kingsbane Deadly trade. Yeah. That might be it. Yeah, and then we get our three three sticking. So we can go one drop. We can go one drop and then Deadly or Dread Corsair. Sure. And his turn this turn usually like ping. Or he has a two drop, which you just hit with our king's vein. Then we're just assuming we're drawing a refresh. I like yeah, the cool. assumption. Let's play buck first. Sap is garbage. Five four is really good too. Super awkward to deal with. Yeah, yeah, that's right. This guys are always playing all enough mage and casual. Well, it's not the nicest thing to do. Play. What do we play? Do we want. What's more valuable? A two attack weapon or. A deck hand? I guess we just play the Buccaneer and just re dagger if it's. Or do we even want to be re daggering here? I think the re dagger makes sense because sure. if we get the dagger off and we can play Naga next turn and still three attack weapon, it seems pretty good. Okay, let's play Buck, see what happens. He snap played that secret. I'm not sure what that means though. Okay, so he deals another Probably five. Probably does, yeah. Do you, you ever just want to just play South Sea Deck Hand here? I think so. I don't really want to swing, I don't think. Yeah, I don't really like swinging either. I like getting another thing on board and just trying to win board from him. I think he just plays a 2 mana. You know he's hand. holding. Like the 5 fives. He's holding a seat. Yeah, he's holding a secret in hand, so. We know his hand isn't great. We can sap that. That's like the only sap target. But we probably want to want to play our 5 4. Oh, well, that uses our mana. That seems yeah, good. I like that more. Because if he yeah. had the other card, he would have played it. And now we get an answer yeah, to the other card. Sure. Not that we're probably going to, but we can now. We're, yeah, we're never. Yeah, it's just setting up like a three-turn clock here. Yep. 
It's pretty good. Six, five. Low with Eb. I don't really Perfect. care about that. Okay, well, we're not. Yeah, we don't care. Play the bit thing, and you just send out with your face at this point. Alright, we give ourselves another good draw with Kings Bane. Yep. We start making him force. He's like forced to throw burn at this guy run minions ice block? now. Do you know Meowth? Probably. I mean, every Aggro Mage runs Ice Block. Not at all of them do. Really? I feel like Aggro Mage is like the I, one that I don't remember the like, like secrets. They just like to. I've ne I don't remember the last time I've seen an Aggro Mage with. One, there's no ways. Almost all of them are on one. Um, five lethal sometimes. Can I count? Yeah. yeah. I can count. Yeah, yeah, it seems yeah, so. Lethal sometimes. Okay, well, ice block is a thing, I guess. That's fine, though. Like, you shouldn't. No, it shouldn't be able matter to clear board. You shouldn't be able to clear board and frostbolt your face. What does he need? He needs, like, frostbolt, frostbolt. And then, a frostbolt, frostbolt, pain, or frostbolt, dire. torch, pain. This guy's a fucking alpha man, holy shit. <laughs> Playing the win, let's go. Okay, so we hit the Q dodge here, right? <laughs> uh, please don't Q dodge that kind of Yeah, <laughs> this matchup sucks. Yeah. Okay, this is a fat Q dodge. This is like the, this is like the worst matchup for the yeah. deck. I think that this matchup is way worse. It might not be worse than that. It's pallet. pretty shit, dude. I don't know.